This is a hypothetical data set which indicates the yearly collected amount of something. Suppose to predict the yearly amounts with this given data set, we can use the autoregressive modeling that is predicting a variable by its own previous values. So, first of all, we have to set the leg values here, right? Leg 1, leg 2, leg 3, and copy the variable value that will be considered as dependent variable here suppose this is the variable y i copy these values and simply paste in one row down again do it for like two and for like three the same and here exclude the incomplete rows so the autoregressive model for like one like two like three there may be three types of autoregressive model that is first order autoregressive model second order autoregressive model third order autoregressive model the first order autoregressive model will become yi equals to beta 0 plus beta 1 yi minus 1 plus epsilon i here yi minus 1 indicates the first leg similarly for the second order autoregressive model yi2 indicates the second leg yi3 indicates the third leg similarly for the third order autoregressive model so in case of third order autoregressive model our data set becomes here from 2004 to 2020 the village will be now to find the autoregressive model go to data data analysis here we have to go to the regression edge we have done in the multiple linear regression in the same way we can find the autoregressive models so first of all for the third order autoregressive model input y range our y values will be from the amounts of 2004 to 2020 and x range will be from leg 1 and leg 1 to leg 3 here no need to check the levels as we don't select the levels here and it is simply not needed and now select the output range and run the model this is the third order autoregressive model here leg 1 each y i minus one like two each y i minus two like three each y i minus three here see that at five percent level of significant the beta coefficient for the variable y i three that is the leg three here the p value is greater than 0 0.05 so it can be excluded similarly for the variable 2 here that is for the leg 2 p value is not significant at 5% level so it also can be excluded but we will exclude first the leg 3 variable because when we exclude one variable our data set will be increased by one row here suppose if we consider leg one and leg two only the data set will become 2003 to 2020 that age this portion where in case of the third regressive model it was from 2004 to 2020 only that is this portion and if we consider the leg one only the data will become 2002 to 2020 that is this portion so to find the second order autoregressive model that is excluding the leg three you do 
data again data analysis regression in the case of input y range select for leg one and two input x range output range run the model so this is for the second order to regressive model see that here the variable 2 that is leg 2 has an insignificant coefficient that is the p value is greater than 0 0.05 so to find a better model we can also exclude leg 2 now consider only the leg 1 so that is the model will be first order auto regressive model so the data set will be which portion now go to data again again data analysis regression select y range from the amounts of 2000 to 2020 only and the input will be from third row to 21th row now select the output range again run the model so this is the first order autoregressive model here we have only like one variable see here the p value is significant at five percent level of significant so the first order autoregressive model becomes more better than second order and the third order models here now look you can look at the intercept although it has a p value of greater than 0.05 so it is not significant at 5% level but this is not a severe problem if you need to exclude the intercept so you can exclude it then you have to fit a model without intercept if you want you can do it simply go to data again data analysis regression and here just click constant each zero and run the model again see that the model without intercept becomes the coefficient here becomes 1.01 in case of an intercept model it was 0.97 so not very much different and it is significant so you can fit a new intercept model if you need but i think it is better to keep the intercept and fit the first order order regressive model for each data set